I am a strong, independent woman, and I do not need men, and I will not follow the patriarchy, okay? I am independent, and I do what I must do. What? What, what is that? What the fuck is that? Sorry for not uploading for basically a week. But listen, one, I've been pretty demotivated since my like my videos don't get any views anymore. So, you know. But then I said, yeah, you know, whatever, I'll record a video. I need some views. Okay, I need to boost up some ego kinda right now, so yeah. So what are we gonna be talking about? We're gonna be talking about this video from Lacey Green. Now, a very big, big sign of her believing what she's saying and standing behind her, her argument because, you know, it has so much proof behind it, it has, you know, so much reason, so much logic behind it, is that she disabled the likes and dislikes. You know, as anybody would do, you know, that's what you do when you share a retarded fucking argument on the internet because you are too fragile to uh, see uh, to see opinions that do not validate yours, isn't it? So, what I'm going to be doing now is debunking every single fucking thing she says in this video because, oh god, it is... Like, like, I'm gonna warn you already, okay? If you do not like to lose any of your brain, cell, brain cells, okay? If you can just, if you can take it like a few thousands of brain cells lost, you know? You might wanna watch it, okay? If, if you like your brain cells, just, no, just close the video, man, okay? If you like your brain cells, if you enjoy having them, okay? Because your IQ is about to jump down, okay? Your IQ is going to drop from, like, your ego to the size of your penis. Got roasting my fans. Am I right, boys? So, let's get right into the cringe. That someone was lying about rape. Every single time a woman comes forward about having been abused by a beloved movie star, musician, TV star, YouTubers, that star's fans immediately accuse her of lying. There are men's groups online that claim that women lie about rape 90% of the time. A sheriff in Idaho very recently claimed that they don't need a better system for rape kits which collect evidence because most victims are liars. The majority of our, our rapes that are called in are actual consensual sex. And I mean, look, couldn't you or me or anybody in the world just make up a rape for attention to get revenge out of jealousy as toby turner's mom posted on facebook yeah you could totally do that but would you do that would you beat up an elderly woman no that means nobody beats up elderly women okay do you understand your logic here okay just because you do not do this thing does not mean nobody does it okay that's like, okay, I never killed somebody. I mean, I was never caught doing so. But some people were, you know. Okay? I never stepped on a puppy. Some people stepped on puppies and killed them. Okay? Just because you won't do it does not mean nobody else will. Okay? And yes. Actually, a lot of rape accusations are false. Do you know why? Because, like, okay, listen. I have absolutely no problem with what feminism is supposed to be about. Equality. Okay? The first wave of feminism, not bad. 
But holy shit, the second and third wave, what the fuck is this bullshittery? Okay, I'm just gonna break it to you in a nutshell. Women lie because they know they have the ability to ruin a man's life, okay? Even if the accusations turn out false, that man's life is already mostly ruined. He lost his job, his family won't talk to him, his friends abandoned him, okay? Just by the mere accusation. And there are thousands upon thousands of cases where this happened, okay? Just because you wouldn't lie about rape doesn't mean everybody else wouldn't, okay? That's just how, that's just not how it works. Okay, fucker? Whew. Fans, friends, family, co-workers find out that someone that they know and love did something terrible. It can be really hard to grapple with and accept, and instead, they choose to deny it. That halo effect around a perpetrator can be so strong that you can have cases like Cosby's where nearly 60 women come forward and report, and people still don't believe that anything happened. Sometimes the perpetrator even goes so far as to say, I didn't do it. They're lying. So yeah, that was basically her entire fucking argument, you know. Women aren't lying because I, I don't know, they aren't lying, they just aren't lying. Why won't you just believe them? Why won't you put this person that could be innocent behind bars for most of, the, of what he has left of life without any proof? Why wouldn't you do that? What's the problem with that, you know? Well, like, you know, for me, you know, First Amendment sites, useless, man, useless. Okay, just put them behind bars, just because we said, okay? We said that they did it, okay? Their DNA isn't in us, there are videos of it being consensual sex, but listen, I swear to God, I swear to God, they did it, man. I swear they did it. You just gotta believe us, man, you just, you, you just gotta believe us. So, yeah, that was a pretty fucking retarded argument, in my opinion, and yeah, I, it took me like 10 minutes to debunk the whole entire thing. So, um, yeah, uh, um, by the way, I got a subreddit, uh, here. So, what you can do on the subreddit is make memes, um, bully me, make memes where you bully me, make memes about bullying me, um, Start revolutions to donate my blood to the blood gods. Yeah, you know, shit like that. So, yeah, you can head on, you can head on over there. And, yeah, there's the r slash link will probably be in the description unless I'm too fucking lazy to add it. It'll probably be in the comments in the description somewhere over there. But for now, I'll see you.